It's been a while since we heard anything about that big firmware update that's supposed to be coming to the Canon EOS R5 sometime before the end of April. Well, this morning we got a really big update on that pixel shift technology that, well, it's going to be much bigger in terms of resolution than what we find in the Sony a7R5. But will it be able to do as good a job? Will it be able to deal with moving objects or subjects in the frame from people to animals to cars? Details coming up, but first, please do me a favor. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, share, choose all notifications, like, comment, and all that good stuff. It's greatly appreciated, means an awful lot to me, and really helps this channel grow. A few weeks back, Canon Rumors said that Canon was planning a major firmware update for the Canon EOS R5 this year. And one of the likely features mentioned was Pixel Shift. Well, Canon Rumors just confirmed that we are getting Pixel Shift in the Canon EOS R5 in a big firmware update, and the specifications for this Pixel Shift, well, it's beyond anything that we've seen in a stills hybrid camera. Normally when you do a Pixel Shift, image, you take four different shots. And what happens each time you take a shot, the camera moves over one pixel or just slightly over about one pixel, then moves down, takes a shot, then moves over, takes a shot. So you get four images, you stitch them together. So on a 45.7 megapixel sensor, you're going to get somewhere just under, well, 180 megapixels, right? Sounds fair. Well, with a Canon EOS R5, not Mark II, this is the Mark I in a big firmware update almost three years after the camera came out. Well, we're going to have a much higher resolution, much higher than the Sony a7R5. It looks like Canon's going to call this feature IBIS High Resolution, not Pixel Shift. And instead of using four shots combined to make a large high resolution image, they're going to take nine shots to make a 400 megapixel image, a high resolution image of 24,576 by 16,384. That works out to just over 403 megapixels. Are you kidding me? Nine shots? Nine shots? To combine nine shots into a single image? I'm even having trouble just articulating that right now because it sounds almost ridiculous. The Canon EOS R5, the current version with firmware 1.7, can do 20 frames per second electronic. Nine shots is the better part of a second, and that's if everything is going well. Nine shots stitched together for a 400 megapixel image? Well, 403 megapixels? is just absolutely staggering. It's mind boggling. How on earth can the camera keep everything still long enough and to be able to stitch everything together? And the real, the real question I have is not whether I doubt this, and we're going to get to the source of this information very shortly. It's not whether I doubt it. It's just how on earth is it going to be able to do this and create a usable image? Now the Sony a7R5, when it came out with a 240 megapixel pixel shift technology, I was quite impressed because if you had a moving subject, a moving object, and they use the image of a car to show that even if you've got the image moving, if you have blades of grass or the leaves of a tree moving, it's able to take that into account and not live, leave you with any artifacts. But nine shots? That's an order of magnitude more difficult than just taking four shots with a 61 megapixel sensor. Canon's going to take nine shots with a 45.7 megapixel sensor and deliver us a 400 megapixel sensor. And again, the resolution is 24,000 pixels by 16,000 pixels. That's just insane. I, I, I'm glad I've got the Mac Studio Ultra, so I should be able to edit these images. Um, wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm, yeah, wow. <laughs> I just can't get over this. 400 megapixels, this just sounds like some sort of April Fool's joke. And no, it is not April Fool's, and it's still a few weeks away. But you see, if, if you want to know where this source came from, because this so does sound completely uh, preposterous and unbelievable, the source of this information, this new IBIS high resolution, combining nine shots to create a high resolution 400 megapixel image, comes from a cached Canon EU web page. That's right, this comes from Canon themselves. So there you go, this is highly credible. And this is also coming from Canon Rumors. They're, I don't know if they got it from a cached web page because I know Craig is very good with websites. I don't know if it came from another source. I don't know how this information came apart other than Canon Rumors is bringing this to us early this morning saying it comes from a leaked Canon EU web page that we're gonna have IBIS with nine, <laughs> I was gonna say nine stops. I, sorry, not IBIS with nine stops. We're gonna have a new high resolution pixel shift type mode. What do they call it again? They called it IBIS high resolution. Huh. That, that, you know what, that kind of gives you a hint at what they're doing there. So this is largely based off of IBIS and you do need IBIS to be able to do pixel shift. 
So it's all focused on that IBIS technology. I wonder if they've also fixed that wobble too. Wouldn't that be good if they fixed the wobble with this as well? Because if you're gonna be shooting with um, a wide and fast lens, you don't wanna have that wobble. That could affect this. So I, I wonder, and Canon Rumors hasn't said anything about this, I wonder if they've taken care of that wobble as well, but nine shots combined together to produce 400 megapixels? So what else can we expect to see in this firmware update? Well, obviously the removal of that 30 minute record limit, that hasn't been confirmed yet. And I've been hearing this for a long time, even from Canon representatives. So I'm taking this one with a, well, um, a tanker sized grain of salt. This is filled with salt water and I drank half of this before I started. No, I really didn't and I don't recommend drinking salt water, but it's just to say that when it comes to removing that 30 minute record limit, we heard this going all the way back to July of 2020 from a Canon technical representative saying it's gonna be going. And so far, Canon has been removing that 30 minute record limit, but you have to buy a new camera, not get a big massive firmware update like this. So Canon Rumors is still saying that 30 minute record limit is going to be going away, and I'm looking forward to that as well. And this new pixel shift will get announcements of other new capabilities. But beyond this new pixel shift feature, Canon's calling IBIS high resolution. We do expect further advancements to come to the Canon EOS R5 firmware. So when are we getting this? Are we gonna be getting this in the coming week just before the end of March? No, but we are supposed to be getting this firmware update sometime in the next 30 days. Hopefully before NAB or maybe right around NAB. I'm pretty stoked by this firmware update. At first I thought, well, pixel shift is pretty nice. I look forward to trying it out, but it's kind of like 8K on the Canon EOS R5. Before I got the R5, I never shot 8K video. And it took me about eight or nine months before I finally said, you know what, let's get out there, let's try 8K, and let's see if it's really worth it in any way whatsoever. And I shot a snow scene with, well, I was in what you would consider a tree tunnel and capturing snow falling off the trees and it was around minus seven Celsius and it looked absolutely stunning. I captured it, brought it back, and I was shocked at the level of detail and at how amazing it looked. And since then, I've used it for other scenes where I wanted to capture high detail, but I also used it for product shots or food shots where I wanted to capture as much detail as I want and then to be able to zoom in later. So I haven't been disappointed, but IBIS, or not IBIS, IBIS high resolution, Canon's new pixel shift mode, 240, 200, it's hard to say it, not 240, but 400 megapixels, or actually to be more precise, 402 point, I think, seven megapixels. That's just, it seems utterly absurd, but but I will test it out. I have a really good tripod. I have the Manfrotto 504X with aluminum tripod, which should give me some pretty decent st um, <laughs> stabilization. And of course, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I really wanna try this out. I'm kind of at a loss for words. This almost seems like too good to be true, but I will put it through the test when the firmware comes out. I've got several scenes here where I've got moving trees, moving grass, or I'm moving cars, for example but what kind of scene could I take a picture of? Well, spring is coming up. And when spring comes, we have a lot of animals coming around. We have a lot of babies, a lot of baby geese, baby ducks. I know goslings and ducklings is what we should call them, but hey, I'm having fun here. It's early in the morning. If I wanna be silly on this channel, I'm gonna be silly on this channel. But I think this is a good opportunity for me to take some shots at that new high resolution 400 megapixel mode. But I'm wondering with this new, well, feature, 400 megapixels, the removal of a 30 minute record limit. What else could we see in this big firmware update? It sounds like, well, being a big firmware update is certainly, this is gonna live up to its reputation. What else would you expect to see in this big firmware update? Let me know in the comment section down below what you see we could get with this camera. Don't say anything silly like it's gonna have 61 megapixels because that's a hardware update. But in terms of software, um, I would, like I said in my video earlier this month, look to what the Sony a7R5 can do because that's the most recent camera coming out by Can or Sony. And I think Canon's gonna borrow some things from there. And to do a 400 megapixel pixel shift, that's a big deal because the Sony a7R5 has higher resolution, 61 megapixels versus 45 megapixels. So to be able to produce a much higher resolution image from a smaller or a lower resolution sensor, that's impressive. If Canon can do this with, without having any artifacts, as well as the Sony a7R5, well, I think that's gonna be a big deal and it's gonna be rather embarrassing for Sony seeing Canon come out with a firmer update on a three-year-old camera that can produce more high resolution images. That would be, well, a call to arms and I would expect Sony to answer with a firmer update 
to improve their IBIS, or not their IBIS pixel shift, but their pixel shift to higher than 240 megapixels. Is that something they're gonna do? Will Sony actually go to the effort to produce a firmware update to answer Canon? Well, that's what we'll just have to wait and see. But first, we gotta get Canon's firmware update out of the way and then see what Sony does. But uh, I'm pretty excited by this. And if you wanna stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors, it's really early here Saturday morning. Um, I produce news all day long, all, well, 724-365. So go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications. And by choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a new video like this one here, you'll get notified by YouTube. So that way you can stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors. Just make sure you check your junk and spam folder. And one other thing, if you're interested in all those minor news and rumors about, well, things that aren't quite big enough to get their own video, well then follow me on Twitter because that's where I put out as many as up to 10 tweets a day. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for following. Have yourself a great weekend and we'll see you again soon.